What's going on guys? Dr. D here from the OneHive 2.0 family bringing you a war recap from the recent uh, random elite war between OneHive Swarm and Why So Gollum. Um, we were pretty excited when we saw the um, initial matchup. Uh, however, as soon as we matched, uh, we started getting messages. And why did we start getting messages? That's why. Um, we actually had uh, one more uh, Town Hall 10 than they did, and then actually a couple of more Town Hall 9.5s. And so they were messaging us to see if we could try and even things out a little bit. Uh, we did do our best to even things out for them. Um, our, our Town Hall 10, our, our one additional Town Hall 10, was forced to only hit Town Hall 10s, no dips and no attempts for 2s on 11s. And our uh, 9.5s we restricted to 220 troop spaces and 10 spell spaces. So basically the 9.5 um, spell and troop comp, or I mean the Town Hall 9 spell and troop comp. Uh, we did the best that we could to try and e even things up. And I think that uh, Why So Gollum was, was um, pleased with this. Uh, just a, a note on these guys, a very classy group of guys. Um, I've seen them in Potluck before. I've seen them in FPC chat. I know that they're a bunch of, uh, that, that they're a solid family of clans over there. Um, you can go to their website, uh, www.ysogollum.com. Check them out. They've got recruiting re requirements on there. They have uh, tryouts as well. Uh, when we spoke with them about this uh, situation, we explained to them that you know this is uh, Swarm is our recruiting clan and our in our tryout clan, and we had you know recruits in there that we had no idea what they were going to be able to do. Uh, and they they actually said, yeah, we've got the same issue on our side. So I actually think it was um, a, a fairly reasonable uh, matchup um, and, and roughly equal on both sides. We tried our best to equal, um, even it out. Anyway, you can go to their website, check these guys out. They've also got a YouTube channel that you can link to through their website. We've got some great content there. I'll put a link to their YouTube channel in the description below if you want to go and watch some of their videos. Uh, let's go on uh, and let's check out our war statistics and get into some of the war attacks. So here are the basic war statistics, uh, 79 stars to 73 stars. Um, we had a 93.5% uh, total destruction. They had 92.17. So you can see, I mean, total destruction-wise, they really hung in there with us. Um, it, it really just came down to three stars. And if you look down there, you'll see 19 triples on uh, for, for One Hive Swarm, 15 triples for Why So Gollum. Uh, and that was really the difference. Um, let's flip over here and look at the bases. As I had mentioned before, there was <laughs> um, a bit of uh, a, a bit of a discrepancy when it came to uh, Town Hall 11s and Town Hall 10s, or especially Town Hall 10s, not Town Hall 11s. Um, we had two Town Hall 11s, Matt and Nate. They also had two Town Hall 11s, G-Man and Stup One. Uh, however, for Town Hall 10s, it was a little bit different. Um, we had, they had four full-fledged Town Hall 10s. We had five full-fledged Town Hall 10s. Um, we also had a few uh, 9.5s in this, and they also had a couple of 9.5s, or at least one 9.5. Um, I think Casey here, if we opened up, nope, that wasn't it. I thought they had a nine. Oh, there it is. Give it legs. So, uh, at any rate, um, the uh, in order to in order to correct some of this, we decided to do a few different things, and so our nine point fives or our two nine point fives that we had were only allowed to attack as town hall nines. That means two hundred twenty troops, two twenty troop spaces, and uh, ten spell spaces. The the basic town hall nine composition. Um, our Town Hall 10, Extra Town Hall 10, um, who was a recruit uh, right there, um, he was told that in order to uh, even things up, we would make sure that he only hit Town Hall 10s and there was no dips. Um, and then the others were, they were free to, to dip as needed and our others were free to dip as needed as well. Uh, let's look real quick here. Um, kind of a tough, I mean, these guys had some really, really tough bases. And when it came down to uh, six packs, we only had two people um, that got six packs this war. And that was King, who got a fresh triple, and then a cleanup triple. And 
Aha, who had a fresh triple and a cleanup triple. And we're going to watch uh, at least one of the attacks from Aha. He does. He, he did a couple of very cool mixed drag attacks, and I, I tried to pull out the one that I thought was the, the coolest attack. Um, we've been focusing a lot on mixed drags lately and uh, trying to incorporate some sort of a go-bow type of uh, entry with um, drags, and we're hoping to. I'm hoping to pull a video together on that here soon. But uh, that's it for six packs. Um, let's flip over and let's look at some of the attacks. And as I like to do, let's start down at the bottom on number 28. And this is Aha, or Ahu. I'm not sure how he pronounces that, to be honest. But you can see here he's got four drags, um, one. Uh, Hound, he's got bowlers in the CC. I think he has, I'm pretty sure he has bowlers in this. Actually, he may not. He may have a Hound in the CC. I don't remember, but he starts with his entry here. Um, almost positive it's bowlers in the CC, yeah. And there comes the bowlers. Uh, the, the goal here is to try and get at least two air defenses. If you can get three air defenses, even better. Um, but come in, uh, take out the uh, CC really quick. And he, obviously his entrance allowed him to get one set or one air defense right off the bat. Um, he's, his kill squad is now passed over to that second air defense and it's going to fall here in just a second. And there it goes, and now he feels free to start his drags. Starts by setting a funnel for these dragons. Queen pops her ability down there. She's not doing a whole lot. Um, but here we go. Dragons are going to start pushing in. Now the idea is to get those dragons at that to that air defense just as the uh, hound is getting ready to pop. You'll see he saves a Rage just for that occasion. There we go. Um, dragons are in there, and pop, and there goes the air defense. Um, only a couple of air targeting defenses left. You've got three Teslas, which are a little bit dangerous, and he starts bringing in some loons on these other defenses. And basically at this point, it is all cleanup. One Tesla left with plenty of troops to take care of it, and it is Tree Stars in the bag. Nice job. All right. Next, we have Sunny. So, Sunny hit number 22. This is a very cool attack. Um, you can see the army composition down there three giants. Um, and uh, one healer, and then some uh, a, a, a loon, and then, of course, golems and some hogs. And you can tell that it's going to be at least a sort of a govaho. Uh, there's three Valks there. So Sunny comes in, sets the funnel here, um, working on getting that enemy queen who's under poison. He's going get, to get that queen pretty quick here. The, the king does some weird stuff here, just wants to get through that wall, even though the... Even though the queen is dead now, the king initially thinks, well, maybe, and then he turns back. Uh, meanwhile, the kill squad over there is taking out the CC. Finally, um, everything is in. Bowlers are in. Um, the uh, golems are in. CC is dead. And as soon as things get finished off up here, she sends, he sends in these three, three giants under heal. And those three giants are going to tank quite a bit initially for this uh, on this cannon. Um, once that cannon is gone, they're going to move up and they're going to start tanking for these other defenses, this mortar and, and this archer tower. And that allows these hogs to come in and take out these two defenses without any problems. This archer tower starts shooting at the hogs, lets them bring in some more hogs on there. Um, drops a heal because uh, he knows that there's actually a giant bomb right there. And the, yeah, the hogs actually never tripped that giant bomb. But that is it. It is a great hit. Um, I, I, I watched this attack live and felt foolish because I tried something uh, very different and failed miserably on this base. But uh, Sunny came through with a very nice cleanup attack. Um, that is it. 
Three stars in the bag. Nice job, buddy. Swag queen ability. All right. Next, we are going to watch Laz. This is probably the coolest attack of the entire war right here. Um, so if you look at the army composition down there, three skelly spells, one max skelly spell. Obviously a zap quake, which goes down right there. Nine dragons, two loons, a hound. And there's actually two hounds, so there's a hound in his CC as well. Um, uses a queen and one dragon to start setting the funnel. And once that funnel is set, or almost set, uh, brings in the rest of the drags and immediately drops that max hound and the other hound, followed up by those two loons that are protected because everything is being tanked either by the hounds or by those dragons, and then drops the uh, rage spell. Um, both of these hounds wind up popping, which is perfect. Although, unfortunately, they pop near a, a wizard tower, and, and a lot of them get killed right off the bat. Look over here, because he's dropped those three skelly spells on this last air defense that is still up. They continue to spawn skeletons until it's gone. He dropped the king to tank that um, archer tower while those skelly spells did their work, tearing up that uh, air defense, and that is it. There are only two air targeting well, uh, three, I guess. Three air targeting defenses and a queen who's going to get aggroed by this dragon right now. And that is it. Drags take care of the, the last air targeting defenses. And it is just basically clean up once we finally get over to that last archer tower. But lots of dragons left, lots of troops. Oh, there's tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Lass. Great hit. Um, next we're going to look at Kiss. Kiss is a recruit right now, or, or was a recruit during this war, yeah. Um, and Kiss brings, um, I thought it was, it's an interesting attack. It's a queen walk with a hobo, uh, incorporated. So he's going to start, um, the queen over here, setting a funnel, taking out some of this trash right here, and then eventually, once this archer tower is gone, um, sending in a hog in order to pull the CC. Now you'll see that it doesn't quite get all of the CC, and so winds up having to take care of the CC, then throw down another hog to get the rest of the CC out. Um, but there we go, rage on those healers. Clears out part of the CC, starts, starts his golem, and it's a cold-blooded, just one golem, has to send in another hog to pull the rest of the CC. Ooh. And has a wall breaker fail up top. That was brutal. So it takes a little bit of time to get everything worked up here, but fortunately, he's brought some Valks, and they will rip right through that wall. Queen initially scoots around the wall because there's no hole there, but then comes back, and now you've got all of these troops heading into the core together with healers on them. Um, those air defenses are going to get knocked out right off the bat, the ones that are targeting the healers. And at this point, those healers are going to be able to stick around for quite a while because they've got a long ways before they get back to those other air defenses. Starts trickling in hogs on distracted defenses. I believe he's going to actually lose all of the hogs here eventually, um, either to spring traps or to, to other defenses. But... Um, at any rate, as you can see, there are just two defenses left here, three de defenses left, but really only two that matter, and that is the Wizard Tower and the Archer Tower out here. Uh, Queen is beating through a wall. We're going to speed this up just a little bit because it is just about GG here. Still got that Golem up tanking. Um, Wizard down on the back side, takes out that uh, wizard or archer tower, and that is it. GG, tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Kiss. All right. Uh, we are going to check out next is Gazda. I would not have done an avalanche attack on this base, but you can look down there and see that's exactly what Gazda is about to do. Um, the pathing is actually very nice here. You'll see that. Um, starts out with three golems. They're pulled straight to that one cannon. Uh, wall breaks in. And 
has already put down, I believe, eight wizards. I think he came in with 20. And we are on our way. I'm going to speed this up a little bit just because avalanches tend to be so slow. Now, one of the tricks with avalanche, as I've said in, in some of my other videos, is to make sure that you get your heroes in there with those golems. It's important. It brings another golem down here to come in at the 6 o'clock and then starts a new golem up top, tanking on all of these uh, um, Tesla Towers. Some more wizards following that up and a baby dragon. He still has one jump spell left, and it's just gone down. And then he drops a Rage to push through this um, uh, Expo here. And at this point, it is pretty close to over. He's brought some minions to help take out defenses that don't target air troops. And continuing to trickle some wizards in along the way. Unfortunately, his queen got stuck down here. Uh, it winds up working out for him in the end. Uh, th this one actually has kind of a scary ending. If you look right now, there is nothing in there except golems. And they are taking a beating from these troops because all of his wizards are hung up back here. So this golem is eventually going to pop and take out that uh, archer tower with it. Oh, I guess it actually made it through, but... Uh, that, that, that column gets stuck in there, for sure. Queen comes up, takes out some of these defenses. However, he's going to lose his queen here because she starts beating through a wall. And this is where things start to get a little bit scary. You've got a whole bunch of wizards all grouped up. That is not good when you have a splash damage um, defense left, or two splash damage defenses left. Uh, but these wizards are clearing stuff out pretty quickly. And you'll see, though, oh, Queen dies right there. The wizard turns and starts hitting these wizard tower, starts hitting these wizards, but they pull through, gets the tree. Nice, nice job. All right. Uh, we're going to watch one last attack, and this is by Big Tex. Big Tex is a brand new member of uh, the core in Swarm. He was not. This was his last tryout uh, war, and he, he made core. But So you can see um, by his troop composition, he's coming with a Bolalo. He starts setting his funnel. Um, golems are down. Uh, for those of you who have been working this Bolalo, it's, it's, um, it's a very, very overpowered attack. However, it takes some finesse to get these bowlers in. And, and uh, one of the things that I found, and, and that uh, we have a guy in the clan who's in 2.0, his name is Z-Bear, who's just phenomenal with this attack, is that bringing those, if you can enter on an open corner, that is your best bet for preventing bowlers from walking. Um, or at least that's, that's what uh, Z has been telling us, and, and I believe that guy. Uh, unfortunately, a double bomb there takes out um, a good chunk of bowlers, but... Uh, they're in there. They've got two air defenses down. That's really your goal with this. Um, I believe the queen is going to hop over here and, and take out another air defense. Um, maybe not. Maybe he does only get two air defenses. I thought he got three here. At any rate, oh yeah, there we go. That air defense is down. Um, this last air defense goes down. And uh, neither of these hounds wind up popping. Doesn't matter. Um, you can see it is just uh, lots and lots and lots of troops left. So tons of loons. And it is tree stars in the bag. We'll speed this up because he is on to clean up. Nice job, Big Tex, and welcome to Swarm. All right. Uh, that is it for the attacks that we're going to show today. We had no 10v10 triples and no Town Hall 11 triples. Uh, we had a couple of bully attacks that I'm not going to show, but there's the final score again, and props to these guys. I would really recommend people go and check them out. Awesome clan. Um, they've got a YouTube channel. Uh, we'll have a look here real quick. Um, so you can go to whysogollum.com, check out their page. I would highly recommend checking it out. Go and check out their YouTube channel. Throw them a subscribe. These guys are a gr great group of guys. I see them in the um, FPC chat, and I've seen them um, in uh, uh, the potlucks before. 
So awesome, awesome group. And props to you guys. You know, they, they, they gave us a, a hand after this, um, had, a, had a little bit of conversation with them. And they're uh, a good group of guys. That is it from me. This is Dr. D saying keep clashing.